Hello students, welcome to another tutorial on linear motion. In this tutorial, we're going to look at the question left to get with uh, last. So I hope you guys have time to go through it. Let's quickly read through the question and see what we're being asked to find. So the question reads, you are designing an airport for small planes. One kind of airplane that might use this air build must reach a speed before takeoff of at least 27.8 meters per second and can accelerate at 2 meters per second squared. A, if the runway is 150 meters long, can this airplane reach the required speed for takeoff? And then lastly, B, if not, what minimum length must the runway have? Okay, so in the first part, we want to determine whether the plane takes off or not. Does it reach the required speed for takeoff? Now, how do we approach such a question? Well, we see one thing here. The first thing they're telling us are the conditions or the condition for the plane to take off. So for this plane, first they're saying it has an acceleration of, if we go back to the question, the acceleration is 2.00 meters per second squared. Apart from this, this plane for it to take off, so the takeoff speed or the takeoff velocity. So the takeoff velocity is said to be 27.8 meters per second. So I'm going to highlight this takeoff velocity because it's going to be key in working out the first, the first question. 27.8 meters per second. So this is kind of an important value for us to work out the first part. Okay, so we have the acceleration of the plane. We have the required velocity for the plane to take off. But what are they saying? We're provided with the runway that is 150 meters long. And they are asking us to say, given that this is the runway that we have, can this plane reach the required takeoff, uh, takeoff speed. Now, how do we work it out? Well, we are going to restrict ourselves to the runway. So we want to see if the runway is sufficient to reach that takeoff speed. So notice that all we're going to do is, we're going to take the displacement, which is going to literally just be the length of the runway. So we want to see that if the distance or the, yeah, the distance that we have is 150, the length of the runway, and then we're dealing with the plane whose acceleration is 2.00 meters per second. And this plane starts from rest. So we're assuming that this plane is accelerating from rest. Now, given these details, will the plane reach the takeoff velocity? In other words, we want to find the velocity it will have at the end of that 150 meters. And if the velocity it will have will be greater than the takeoff velocity, then yes, the 150 is sufficient for the plane to take off. But if it is less than 27.8, if the value we find is less than 27.8 meters per second, then our conclusion will be that the 150 is not enough for the plane to take off. So the plane will need more length for it to reach the required speed. Okay, so with that in mind, let's quickly work out this problem to find the velocity the plane will have at the end of the 150 meters. So again, you quickly look at what you're given here, you see that you don't have time and you don't want to find time. So you want to write down the equations and identify the equation that doesn't use time. And you notice that the third equation, v squared, u squared, plus 2as works very well here. We want to find the final velocity. We know the initial, we know the acceleration and the runway length there. So here, if we work out this initial velocity, this is starting from rest. The acceleration is two meters per second squared and the length of the runway is 150. So if we work out this expression, we get V is equal to Two by two will give us four. So we basically just have four multiplying 150. So in the end, we have V is equal to the square root of four times 150. 
And if we work out this, we get 24.5 meters per second. So this is the velocity that the plane will have at the end of that 150 meter runway. So again, when you look at this value, this value is less than the takeoff velocity. So what this is telling us is that if the runway we're dealing with is 150 meters, if this is the length that the plane has to accelerate through, then we realize that the velocity it will have will actually be less than the velocity required to take off. We need 27.8 meters per second for the plane to take off, but we only found that the velocity after 150 meters will be 24.5. So this is less than the takeoff velocity. And because of that, the plane does not take off. The question was, they wanted us to determine if the runway of 150 meter length uh, will be enough for the plane to reach the, the speed for takeoff. And our conclusion is, that 150 meters is not enough for the plane to reach the 27.8 meters takeoff speed. So that is our conclusion there. And then in part B, what are they asking us to find? The same that if not, what minimum length must the runway have? You see that here now, we're not bounding ourselves to the runway. We want to actually determine the minimum amount of length for the runway if their plan is to reach that takeoff speed. In other words, we're saying, what must be the length? What must be the length if the plane is to move from an initial velocity of zero to a final velocity of 27.8? We know the plane takes off if the velocity is either 27.8 meters per second or greater than 27.8. So this value gives us the minimum length required. Okay, so here we're saying what length S is required for the plane to change its velocity from zero to 27.8 meters per second with an acceleration of two meters per second squared. So these are the details that we're working with. And with this, we want to determine the distance S that would be needed for this transition to occur. So how do we work it out? Again, when we look at what we have, we notice that we don't have time and neither are we interested in finding time. So again, we go back to our equation B squared is equals to U squared plus 2AS. So this time around, we want to find S. In the previous case, we were finding the final velocity. Now we say if the final velocity is 27.8, what has to be the distance? So we make S the subject here. We're going to have B squared minus U squared is equals to 2AS, divide both sides by 2A. Then you get S is equals to B squared minus U squared over 2A. So we know what the final velocity is. The final velocity is that takeoff velocity, 27.8. We square this. The initial, this plane is starting from rest, so that's a zero over two multiplying the acceleration, which is two meters per second squared. This becomes 27.8 squared over four. And if we work out this expression, we quickly get the distance as 193 meters. So what this is telling us is that for the plane to take off, the minimum length of this uh, of the field of the runway, it has to be at least 193 meters. So either 193 meters or any value greater than 193 and the plane will take off. So this is the minimum length of the runway if the plane is to reach that takeoff uh, speed of uh, of that's 27.8 meters per second. Okay, so this was something easy. I hope you guys were able to, to, to follow through. In our next video, we're going to look at uh, another question, another application question, still on linear motion. You guys can look at it in advance. Otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next video. This was your tutor.